Good day everyone and welcome back to another beautiful video on our channel. In this video, I am in a small town called Fremantle in Western Australia and we are going to visit the oldest building, the Roundhouse in Western Australia, which was built in 1830, nearly 200 years ago in the Swan River Colony. In the past, it was actually built as a prison that had eight cells and a jailer's residence. The most important thing about this building is it is still standing and considered as one of the best tourist attractions in Fremantle, Western Australia. Today we are going to go to this place and see what else we can witness there. If you are new to this channel or watching without subscribing, make sure you subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this. Fremantle is a coastal town in Western Australia, 25 minutes away from Perth in southwest direction. This building, the Round House, is situated close to the sea. It is an old building built of big old stones and you can also see many repair works done on that building over the time. I parked my car somewhere there. I started walking towards the Round House and then climbed the stairs to go to the top. On your way up, you can notice that the stairs, walls and the building got cracks in it and some of them were repaired and newly done. At the entrance, there was a name board of the roundhouse and some more information about that place. It was started building in late 1830 and finished in 1831 January. Its design as a jail by Henry Willy Rivelli, built by Richard Lewis, one of the civil engineers in Swan River Colony. It's also said that during the period from 1857 to 1900, it functioned as a lockup to keep the prisoners. It was a quite interesting fact that the first ever building built in Western Australia was a jail. I then went inside their own house. In the middle of the roundhouse, we can see an old and the very first well dug in Western Australia. One of the guides there told me it was dug for 18 months and still have water under 13.5 meters. Is it still having water? We also did an experiment by pouring some water and heard a splashing sound at the bottom of the well. 13.5 yeah. meters. 13 meters. Yeah. It took 18 months to build this one. The inside of the roundhouse was in a circular shape and it had eight cells where the prisoners were kept. Four of them were on the right hand side and four of them were on the left hand side. There were prison boards and a handcuff with iron ball kept on a bench used back in the days. The curfew bell is another feature of this roundhouse. There was a bell installed in this roundhouse when it was operating as a prison and the jail warden used that bell to inform the prisoners about their timetable. It was also said that the curfew bell was usually rang every night at 9.50 
to make sure all the prisoners know the bedtime is 10 and come back to their cells. No one can stay outside after the bell rang. There was also a chair-like instrument where the prisoners who behaved notoriously were tied and punished. Okay, you're gonna lock me to here. Yes. Six hours. Six hours. As a funny thing, one of the guards there used me as a demonstration to tie onto that chair. Then what they will do? They will beat them. No, it's just, just like this. Oh, okay. So this is how they treated their people back in days. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you. This is your crime that put you in the router. Oh, okay. After that, they also China. gave me a punishment card China with the reason why I was tied up. Sentence. It was funny, guys. Six calendar months imprisonment with hard labor recommended to Mercy. Yeah. Good stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Finishing that, I went inside the first cell at the entrance of the round house. Inside that cell, you can see some old photos of the roundhouse building with some information about that place. An aerial photograph which is yeah, known as the first ever photo, photo of the roundhouse like, with a beautiful drawn, view of Fremantle drawn, City yes, was sure. also presented yeah, right. there. And all these equipments were used back in the days. There were also a few other tools and equipment used back in the days and some food items which were provided to the prisoners yeah. during their one? jail the time. Food. Oh, okay, okay. Finishing that small tour inside the roundhouse, I came outside. The outside was very beautiful, guys. There was grass lawn in some parts of the outside and it was very clean and tidy too. This roundhouse is located very close to the ocean, guys. We can also walk to the back and enjoy a very beautiful beach view. At the back of this roundhouse, some poles and ropes from a sailing ship were used to decorate in the shape of sailing ship. There was also an old ship cannon placed at the back facing the sea. From the back of the roundhouse, we can see Fremantle Harbour and Port at the far, and a quite beautiful beach very close by. A very beautiful view, guys. After enjoying the coastal beauty of the Fremantle Beach, I went to the Western Australian Shipwrecks Museum. It is closer to the roundhouse and an important place where we can see and learn about ships and sea journeys happen in Western Australia. That place is going to be in our next video and I will see you all in that video. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did so, leave a thumbs up on this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and cheers.